Greetings, and welcome to our video on how to reduce scrap. My name is Nathan Ayersman, and I'm the business unit manager for Process Heat for Valen Corporation. One of the best ways to decrease your operating expenses is to reduce your scrap. In this video, we're gonna talk about process heating and controls, and specifically Watlow's new power controller called the Aspire. The Aspire is Watlow's latest innovation in power control theory, and it has a variety of features that are gonna help guide this conversation, but today we're gonna to focus on one called the open heater detection. Let's get into it. So let's set the stage. Your company has a process that includes a heat cycle like a curing oven. Parts are gonna flow through this oven at a regular rate, producing a certain number of parts per hour with a certain percentage of nominal scrap. Let's say it's a standard thermal system. You have a bank of heaters, and those heaters are being controlled by a power controller, which is in turn controlled by a temperature controller, and you have a thermocoupler RTD in the system, in the oven somewhere. For simplicity's sake, let's say it's nine elements wired in three-phase delta, and it's all one circuit. For more information on how a thermal loop works, you can click our video here, Thermal Loop 101. Let's say you're in the middle of a production run, and bam, you lose an element. This is gonna do three things. It's gonna increase the resistance to the remaining elements, it's gonna create a slightly unbalanced electrical load, and it's gonna change the thermal dynamic properties inside your oven. Now keep in mind, in a standard thermal loop, your sensor, unless it's located in exactly the right place, probably isn't gonna even know, so you don't have any alarms or indication that you've lost an element. Now let's say you lose another one. Now seven elements are doing the work of nine, this is gonna significantly change the temperature profile inside your oven, and although it may not be obvious at this time, it's gonna increase your scrap rate. By now, the sensor has noticed that there's a deficiency of heat, and it's calling for 100% output through the temperature controller to the elements, but because seven elements are doing the work of nine, they're already at full power, and there's no additional capacity to give. This situation can exist for a long time where your product is continuing to flow through the product itself isn't getting enough heat and it's producing, say, undercooked widgets and your scrap rate downstream is rising significantly. Let's take that same scenario now and rerun it, replacing the standard power controller with a Watlow Aspire. The Aspire has the ability to sense an open heating element on a resistive thermal circuit by means of an integrated current transformer. Now the load of an electrical circuit is gonna be measured in amps and amps is a function of resistance and voltage. But when one of those heating elements pops, it changes the resistance, which changes the amps. The SCR, the Aspire, then looks at that change, evaluates it, and alarms out to an operator and says, hey, you've got a temperature element that's down. In addition, remember in our previous example where unless that sensor was located in just the right spot, it couldn't even tell if the heating element had failed. You would need to have two, or three elements fail before the sensor would figure it out, send a signal to the temp controller, and then the temp controller would come down and, and in turn tell the power controller to work a little bit harder. Well, because the Aspire's on the power side of the equation, it senses immediately when one of those elements pops and it's able to take action. It reroutes the remaining power to the other elements, thus ensuring a, a consistent, even heating profile in your oven. All of this is designed to reduce scrap increase efficiency, and help you achieve your goals. Thanks for watching our video, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the process heating experts at Valen Corporation.